Impact Wrestling presents Under Siege, live May 26th on Impact Plus and Fight. Yeah, like, you know, take two, here we go again. Jeff Jarrett, the, uh, is he a groom? I'm still confused on this. Is he a groom? He's married already? It's just a, but it's a renewal of the vows. Oh, excuse me, Mike. I never had my vows renewed with my wife. I'm not an expert on, on you're from Vegas. Yeah. You see people yeah, get I've married every five minutes. I've seen that once or twice a day. You know the whole routine. That's why I, I come to you for advice, and then you jump down my throat. No, no, no. I, I appreciate the fact that you deferred to me, Taz. Well, you're a lot older than me, so I figure you understand the these things. the voice of experience. But that's, uh, yeah, Jeff Jarrett, uh, minus his tuxedo jacket. I don't know if that ended up in the... This fury of anger that his wife was ripping into the wedding cake. Look like a four-tier cake. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Come on, get up, Mike, get up. Show some respect. And welcome the lovely bride. Oh my Karen Jarrett, escorted by her ex-husband, Kurt Angle. I was going to say, how hard does this ha have to be for Kurt Angle? But he, it, it, it's not. He's, he's kind of like smirking. He just threw yeah. early tonight Karen into the cake. So he got his already. He, I, I have to assume he just think, he still got the cake on her. She didn't take Bischoff's advice and take a shower, I guess. Mike, you speechless, so the cat got your tongue? What happened? You, I'm you, just watching. Hold on, you third never, angle. You never experienced and a it, pro wrestling wedding before? They happen all the time. They never go well. And this is round two, so let's see if this goes well, because the first round didn't go too good. Lay out for Father Pritchard. Uh, well, yes. Well, I'll tell you, Karen, she still looks beautiful. She does. Look, look at Kurt Angle. He's into this. It's like he's, he's joining them, and even Jarrett's a little confused. Look at Karen, she's gorgeous, with all that icing on her face, and she's got whipped cream on her head. Kurt's smirking away. Look at sister Orlando Jordan. This is just awkward. Look at her hair, bro, look at that. Mike, look, oh my God, she needs some like, gee, your hair smells terrific. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to witness a recommitment a renewal of vows. Now, if there are any reasons why this man and woman should not recommit themselves to each other this evening, speak now or forever hold your peace. Well, thousands are speaking. Okay, okay, all right. Can I have your attention, please? Jeff, I have a question for you. Will you have this woman to be your wife? Will you live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and health, forsaking others, and be faithful only to her as long as you shall live? If so, answer, I will. I have and I will. Okay. And you, Karen. Will you have this man to be your husband, to live together in the holy covenant of marriage and love him and comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsake all others as long as you both shall live? If so, answer, I will. I have and I will. All right. Now, you folks out there in the crowd, I have a question for you. Will all of you witnessing these promises this evening do all in your power to uphold these two in their recommitment? I think this was the Bible belt. Your attention, please. Because of their undying love, one for another, both Jeff and Karen have prepared their own vows of recommitment for the whole world to hear. Jeff, you may give your vows. Oh, like a custom promo he's got. That's pretty cool. Kurt's face is priceless. Oh, 
Now, I, I, sometimes I'm, I'm long-winded, and tonight is a special occasion, and I knew that I may be a, a little nervous, so I wrote mine out, honey. Go right ahead. Karen, I just want you to know that now you are married to a real man. And not some harmless, gutless excuse of a man. I will forever treat you like the true princess you are. You were a victim. Karen, underappreciated by a man, scoot over, that didn't deserve to have you in the first place. Look at me. All the gold medals in the world could never symbolize my love for you. You truly are the wind beneath my wings. Gold medal one might have been a shot at Kurt. This is all a little overwhelming, but I'm gonna do my best. Jeff, you're right. You are a real man, not like another man. From the moment that you and I fell in love, you made me your first priority, not like another man may have not done. Not just by whatever the princess wants, you make sure she gets. No matter how expensive it is, what it is, where it is, my big daddy, he makes sure his princess gets it. And every night before we go to bed, you make sure your princess goes to bed happy. You're not selfish. You don't serve your own needs. You make sure your princess is taken care of, not like another man. And also, Jeff, you're an amazing father. No matter how many days you're on the road, how tired you are, how beat up you are, you walk through those doors with a smile on your face, hug all of us. You want to hear about our week, our days, what we've done. You don't want us to ask about you. You want to hear about us. Bottom line, Jeff Jarrett, you complete me. That's nice. We will now have the ring ceremony. The rings, please. Oh, he can't find the ring, bro. Look at this. He's got, look at Eric. It's in his shoe. Why wouldn't it be? There's got to be some kind of monster cheese on there or something, bro. Look at that. Jeff, you first. Please repeat after me. <laughs> I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. And now, Karen, the ring for Jeff, please. Please repeat after me. Jeff, I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. Jeff, I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. Now, folks, it is my privilege by the authority invested in me in the state of North Carolina and the Department of Motor Vehicles to pronounce them husband and wife. Jeff, you may kiss your bride. Oh, wow. As long as the DMV's involved, I think that wow. makes it official. And Jeff's going to get some icing in his tongue. Excuse me, uh, 
Father, are we, uh, are we done here? Yes, sir, I'm done. Thank you. Does Kurt even need an X? Well, you have to admit, Kurt Angley, he lived up to his word, Taz. He waited until the vows were complete. Wait a minute. Oh. Looks like Kurt is gonna do some set redesigning here. Or destruction. Oh, God. I didn't know Kurt had this contracting ability in his, in his hands. Kurt snapped. I don't think they had a chance to take photos, did they? No, there was no photo ops. Kurt Angle. Hey, like I said, he looked up to his word and... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, well, that, this is exactly what Rick Flair promised. That is Bob Scott of the New York Jets. Start middle linebacker and Bistro now telling Bob Scott, go get him. Oh, go do Immortals dirty work, right? Oh, why not? I mean, listen, I love Kurt, he's a friend of mine, but hey, from Pittsburgh, I know Kurt's a big Pittsburgh Steelers fan. We don't respect Bob Scott. Bob Scott's a New York kid. We know what happened when those two teams met. My team, my Jets. How'd that work out? Well, I digress. Be careful there, Kurt. You better watch yourself. Mark Scott comes face to face and nose to nose with the Olympic gold medalist, Kurt Angle. Whoa. Wow, Mark Scott showing no respect at all for Angle. This might not be the right time to mess with Angle, though, Mr. Scott. I, I, I love you, and I'm a big Jeff fan, but this might not be a good move. Scott doing the heavy lifting for, for Immortal and Ric Flair and Bischoff and Hope. Oh, come on. He pie faces Kurt. Ouch! Oh, no. Kurt oh, there it is! Kurt Angle! Oh, He's no. got the ankle lock on Bart Scott of the New York Jets! Get off his ankle! You're gonna ruin the Jets' defense for next year! Look, get off his ankle! Oh, my God! Snap his ankle! Bart Scott pounding on the match. Hey, Taz, this look familiar? Because the New York Jets, they've been tapping out since 1969. Oh, real classy, Mike. That, that was real classy. That was nice. This man's a guest here, Bart Scott. He's an all pro. Oh, come on, you gotta be kidding. He's a guest here. He's an NFL superstar, stopping middle linebacker. Gets his ankle shattered, and then you're making funny comments. That's nice.